Hey, off of our CRF-150 project we're fixing up, we have the petcock, which makes all 17-year-old boys laugh, apparently. So that's why they call them fuel valves rebuild kit or fuel tap rebuild kit. Uh, or if you think it's funny, you can call them petcocks. And then Spencer thinks that's funny. So you can rebuild this. This is a Honda one, which is the most difficult to rebuild because it has riveted pieces here. Some of these have that. So we've never done this before. This is the all balls kit. All balls, that's funny too, right? <laughs> so we're gonna rebuild it with this right now. Uh, I'm gonna give you some tips on doing it as we discover. We're gonna read the instructions and do it. Okay, so we got some cool instructions here. Um, it looks somewhat self-explanatory. One of the little sketchy parts is you gotta measure from here and make a mark like 312 thousandths, which is 5 sixteenths or approximately eight millimeters from here to here because they don't want you to drill all the way through this entire thing. Um, I think if you draw all the way through, I think it's game over. So we'll want to watch that. So as we can see, we're there. So that's our first step. You can see it comes with all these pieces here, new, new bolts, and the pieces for inside the O-ring that goes right here. So we got all our pieces we need. Now we'll see if we can drill it without messing it up. Do you just want to wait till you get graphics for these? So, okay, so now we've disassembled this one fully. I didn't start by saying that obviously we took this off the bike. I could see somebody trying to do this on the bike. No, no. Did, couldn't you see that, Jim? Okay, so don't do that. Obviously, you want to drain your gas, do that in a safe, vented area, get rid of the fuel, work away from your fuel, all that. It goes without saying. If you don't know how to take this off your bike and put this back on, then you probably shouldn't be doing this part of the process. Have your, you know, uncle come over, somebody that knows what they're doing, and help you. So we got it to this point. It was it was relatively easy. We did look that depth they talked about on drilling these out was a minimum depth. So there's really no harm in going all the way through. So we've done that. We filed off the nubs that were left here, and now we're ready to reassemble it. We obviously we've blown it all off and cleaned it, so we're ready to put this thing back together. So real simple deal. Um, I wouldn't over tighten these. Uh, they, they got tight and that was good. Um, it was a little bit snug here. You saw I put a little bit of oil on the rubber piece so that it would good. And I sprayed a little WD in here just now. And everything seems to be turning real nice. Feels like a good stock one. Um, so now I'm going to slap it back on the bike. Got some new bolts for good measure. Um, throw it on the bike and then I'll test it out. So success, it works, um, lets fuel out, boom, um, and it's not leaking. So that's what you want to test when you're all done. Uh, and we're ready to assemble this, this bike. We're waiting to put the carburetor on. We'll run our hose and this thing's ready to go.